Hey everyone, we have a really, really amazing testimony here. This is Kathy yes. and Valerie. Yep. And they actually was living in a same-sex relationship and was going to get married. But God came, the Holy Spirit came, and that was just a few months ago. And now, at this kickstart, she got baptized, set free, got the Holy yes. Spirit. Yes. So you have to hear this testimony. There's so many details in it. So let's start with you wanted to get married yes we wanted to get married and kathy was pressuring me and we, we finally i said okay so i uh she didn't have to go with me so i went to go get the marriage certificate down at a courthouse and i on the way i just knew it was wrong i just knew it was wrong god was telling me it was wrong and we had already been studying the bible and getting back with god and he was leading us this way and so i just knew this was wrong and i said god if you don't want this to happen you're going to have to show me very clearly and very visually you're going to have to give me signs that this is not to happen so when i went to the courthouse i got in there and um the lady that was in there she i gave her all the information and everything and stuff and she was uh, printing out the certificate and when she printed out the certificate um, she pulled the certificate out and she said ouch and I was like are you okay and she said yeah and I, and I said did you get yourself with a stapler and she said uh, no she said the certificate cut me and she held her finger up and there was blood dripping from her finger and she said I've been working here for 30 years and she said that's the first time that's ever happened to me and I went whoa you know I was like ah and so she took the certificate and put it in a manila envelope and I was kind of like holding it like this on the way out of the courthouse and going okay God you know the wow but he wasn't done with me yet so I was walking out the courthouse when I walked out of the courthouse and went down the steps I mean the courthouse was wide I could have went down the steps anywhere and I went down this certain path and I looked down and there was a wing of a bird laying there at the bottom of the steps and it had flesh on it and it was a fresh wing that had been taken taken torn. off of the been body torn. torn from the body of a bird and it was fresh but it wasn't just any bird when i looked at it closer i noticed that it was uh, a wing off the bird of a dove and i just went oh my gosh this is God. He's telling us not to get married. He's telling us not to get married. I said, but God, I am not telling Kathy this. There's no way I'm telling Kathy this. I said, you don't want to scare me. I said, I understand that. I said, but you're going to have to tell Kathy. And so then Kathy. Beautiful. <laughs> so, so that was her experience and, and said, God, okay, you have to tell Kathy. Yeah. And then I came home and a few days later, they were sitting down, but God was already dealing with her. What happened with you? So I too had had a very uneasy feeling about uh, the thought of getting, uh, you know, getting married. So I had been praying and asking God, if this is not what you want us to do, then, then give me a sign. And I'm a very, I'm a doubting Thomas kind of person and I needed it to be very, very concrete um, and clear. So um, I had a dream. And in my dream, I was at a courthouse and there were four couples getting married and I was like witnessing the, the celebration, the, the celebratory feeling and attitude up to the moments before they got married. And then it came time for Valerie and I, uh, for our turn. And there was no celebration. Uh, there was no celebration for us. It was very a very somber mood actually. And when it came to our turn, we just didn't get married. And I woke straight up from that dream and I was like, uh, okay, it was very clear to me that the fact I was supposed to get from this dream was that we are not supposed to get married. Um, so I was like, okay, I get it, God. You don't want us to get married, but you're going to have to tell Valerie because I can't do this. I can't tell her. Yeah. yeah. We, all, we both sat down, and she looked at me, and she said, um, I don't think we're supposed to get married. And I said, really? What? Yeah, what? what? That's supposed to get married? And she said, uh, I had a dream. And I said, well, you tell me about your dream and then I'll tell you what happened to me. So she told me the dream that you just heard and I told her, you know, about my experience. And at the same time, we looked at each other and said, we're not supposed to get married. And we said at the same time also that we are to keep ourselves pure 
and be the bride of Christ, that we are the bride of Christ and he wants to keep us pure and he wants us to be that way. And we've repented from our relationship and now we are sisters in Christ. So we're family in Christ, we're sisters we are, we're in Christ. We're sisters in Christ. And, we, and we're free from that. Yeah, and I would say then you, you have been following me and you have seen yes. the Pioneer yes. School yes. and yes. teaching and, and you wrote to the Jesus Center, yes, can sir. I meet Tom, what can happen? And, oh, and yeah. yeah, and you heard <laughs> yeah, that there was a kickstart here. And now they've just been here and, and, and you got set free. I did. Yes. You are one of the first one. We actually took some people out and have a little video clip with it. But we took some people out on the stage to just pray for people and the Holy Spirit came over you. Mm. You fall down, you were laying on the floor every very long time. Two hours? A long time. People was praying for you, the deliverance was happening. And and what what happened was that when you got prayed for, you felt like electricity was going I, yes. through your body I and did. things was happening. But one thing was very special and strong. That was suddenly God starts to show you your sins yes. and you start to say your sins and there was the freedom came. Can you just say that part? Yeah, so um, I was having a hard time getting, uh, letting go of those, of those sins and I was being encouraged to speak them out and as I was speaking them out, I had a vision and in my vision, um, and I can't talk about it, I just, you know, without, without crying, but in my vision, as I said my sins, I could... I, I saw them coming out of my body and they turned into nails and, and our Lord was there and each nail was like, boom, boom. And it was, it was they were crucifying our Lord on the cross. But after that, I, I received the Holy Spirit after that vision that I was able to, I was crucifying myself and I am not to sacrifice. So with that vision, you know, his, his crucifixion became the sacrifice that freed me. And I and I received the Holy Spirit, and I was able to speak in tongues. Mm. <laughs> it's beautiful, and they want to do ministry now. They want to tell about God, and we want to say to be out there. They have also met Christians where the way they were speaking to them was pushing them away from God. Mm -hmm. And you have experienced a lot of that, a lot of condemnation oh, and so yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, I want to holiday. say, sin is sin, and we should not be afraid of talking about sin, but we should not talk in a way that we put, push people away from yeah, God. We should talk in a way where people understand this is the problem, but what is the answer? Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus right. paid the price. Yes, and the power of the gospel is the power of salvation that can go in and you are alive, you are repentance. That is a work of the Holy Spirit. Yes. No yes. man are going to get the honor for that. That is the Holy Spirit. Absolutely. And God is going to raise them yeah. up to do ministry, to send a message to people out there to say, this yeah. life is real. There's yeah. hope. No matter what you're struggling with, Absolutely. no matter what it is, Jesus died on the cross to forgive us from our sins. He can come and set us free. And you got baptized I yesterday. Baptized, yes. We have an amazing video yes. of the baptism. I got baptized. It's yes. a new life. Yes, yes. 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 So Lord. God bless you all out there. Okay. Share Woo! this testimony and bring hope to people out there because people near need to know what God is doing, what the Holy Spirit is doing. God bless you. Yes, Lord.